Welcome to part one of the 60 tips of grassroots football coaches compilation. Use dodgeball and tag games to teach your players physical literacy, especially younger players. So we get asked a lot about should they be using ladders, hurdles and stuff like that. At the younger ages, no they shouldn't. Get them playing tag games, get them playing dodgeball, get them doing games that have loads of different types of movement and you'll help give them physical literacy to make them better football players. You can use this in a warm-up or as part of your practice. Players will enjoy it as well and they'll really develop physically. We always look at coaching players' weaknesses to make them all-round players, but actually we lose sight of what their strengths are. And a lot of the times we get players into our teams because of these strengths. So don't forget to improve these strengths as well and make them super strengths. Think of an iron robin who could cut inside and put it top corner of his left foot every time. The best defenders in the world could not stop him doing this because he made his strength his super strength. So it's okay to coach everything around the player, but don't lose sight of what their strengths are and keep improving that as well. Incorporate goalkeepers in your training sessions, playing with the outfielders, not just doing goalkeeper training. Goalkeepers take more than 90% of their touches with their feet and they need to technically be good players. So include them in some of your outfield practices so that they can work under pressure and improve their technical ability with both feet and their passing range. Let your players come up with their own corner and free kick routines. Especially with younger players, this will help them to be creative. It will help them to come up with little patterns of play and it also helps to promote leadership in a fun way. So let them have a go at creating things, let them have a go at trying things and it will also stimulate loads of discussion between players. So they'll get you to improve their communication, that leaders, those leaders will come out, so it'll improve that leadership element as well. And it's done in a nice, fun way. So let them have a go at creating all those routines and let them try and implement them and try them in matches. Do team talks in front of the parents. Okay, don't be scared of parents. Try and get them involved and increase their understanding of what you're trying to do. If you do your team talks in front of the parents, they'll get a better understanding of what you're trying to achieve on the day in terms of tactics or challenges. And then hopefully, one, they will buy into what you're doing, but also they won't start saying things on the sideline which counteract what you're trying to get to happen. So make sure you try and do team talks around them so they hear what is going on and hear that you're saying to a player, I want you to try and take players on as much as you can today. Whenever you get 1v1, take a player on. And then hopefully they'll encourage that player when they get into a 1v1 situation rather than saying pass, pass and confusing the player. Sometimes when your training sessions are going on, just stand back and watch. Don't say anything, stand back 10, 15, 20 yards from the practice and just watch. Especially if you've got an assistant that can lead parts of the session. Or if you are the assistant, stand back and watch. Look at body language, look at are players engaged, look at what are they getting out of this practice. Look at, does it look like the game at the weekend? Is the way the practice is laid out looking like how a game will, will be? But just take the time to step back out of the emotion and out of trying to do things and trying to talk to players. Step back, analyse and watch and see how that benefits your coaching. In September, I am running an online coaching course for grassroots coaches. This can be for coaches that are level one, UEFA C license or level two, and it's gonna go through everything you need to coach your grassroots team. There'll be lots of value in this for new coaches as well as experienced coaches. We'll be running over six weeks with a series of webinars. Um, if you miss a webinar, you'll be able to make it up as well. But we'll go through things like how to plan your sessions, how to adapt for individuals within your group, especially when you've got players that are at different ability levels. We'll go through formation, small-sided games, how to deal with some parents, how to create a culture for your team, how to develop individuals around the four corners to help them physically, technically, tactically, psychologically. We will go through loads and loads of session plans and session design stuff. In my experience, that's what grassroots coaches want. They want help with designing their sessions and how they can do that over a season. So a large bulk of the six week course will be working on creating your sessions, making sure your sessions are appropriate for your players and making sure your sessions are helping players develop. You can sign up and register interest for this course and then we will be sending out links about how to get involved and get enrolled on the course. It will be starting in September. Hopefully you're looking at the 60 tips videos that we're currently releasing and going through. And you can find more information on the TSC Coaches Club, which is on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Uh, you can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook as Seb Tidy. 
and we'll have lots of free content out there as well. You can already see a lot of free content on our Coaches Club, which, like I said, is on Facebook, and if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, there's loads on there. Any coaches you think that will really benefit from this course, please share this with them, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you on the course in September.